think siblings are so often overlooked in family systems, right? So it's really easy to feel invisible as a sibling. So I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. I think you can ask your parents exactly what you just asked me. It sounds like you have a family that is pretty good at communicating and pretty respectful of each other. So I think you can ask that, right? Because I could tell you a bunch of things, but they can tell you best. Um, you can say, I'm so thankful that you've made space for all of our grief and all of our different ways. Um, that's not common. And I want you to know that I know that. And I'm wondering if there are ways that would feel most helpful for you in the ways that I show up. Is there something that you need from me? Is there part of my own grief that's uncomfortable for you to feel? Um, it's okay to let me know that, right? All you need to do here is open that conversation, like open that door. And I don't know what they're going to say. They might say, you can grieve around us any way you want to, whatever, right? But like, I think as, as I said about something earlier in our time here together, naming the struggle is often the, the, the easiest, most efficient thing to do, right? So to be able to say, I'm not sure how to best be here for you and navigate my own grief at the same time. And I wonder if there are two different things here, um, things that would feel really helpful or supportive for you from me. And if there's anything in my expression of grief that feels really uncomfortable for you, not that I'm not going to feel that way, but if it's uncomfortable for you, I'm going to find other ways to express that and other ways to get support around that so that it's not adding a burden to you, right? Like what a beautiful conversation to have. If you were in a different family system or if this family system doesn't respond in the ways that we might expect um, and they dismiss it or they say, no, everything is fine. Like basically not going to talk about this. Um, you can respect that and observe, right? You can, this is actually related to when somebody says, you know, my best friend's dad just died. I don't know how to support them. I don't know what to do. And when I ask them, they say, I don't know, right? Because very often people in the middle of great pain don't have the capacity or the resources to identify what they need, let alone ask for it. And this is where you draw on your knowledge of your people, right? You know these folks to be able to say something like, this is orders of magnitude different, but I know that when my mom is having a really hard time, they tend to need to blah, a bunch of stuff and then like go do something silly or they tend to make jokes or, right? You wanna draw on your knowledge of your people and, and then check in around it. Like, I know that I know that in times of stress, you like to marathon watch Shit's Creek. Would that feel help helpful? Do you want to do that together tonight? Right? So things like that, that are really tangible, that can relieve the burden of asking somebody in pain, what do you need? Right? I think it's worthwhile to ask, especially given your family system. And at the same time, it's also helpful to, to draw on your knowledge and to check it out with them. Check out the Dougie Center to see if there's any helpful stuff for you as a family system to go through this, to talk about this. They are absolutely accustomed to the invis invisibility issue with siblings sometimes.